In the first video, I demonstrated a surface wave transmission line made of number 28 wire, about 35 feet long, run across the backyard with a flared horn launcher and a Depron foil launcher as receiver. I transmitted about 80 watts into a bird watt meter dummy load and also into a rectifier and light bulb. This video is much like it except I've substituted a Depron launcher for the first uh, position at the transmitter and the surface wave line is now 100 meters, 328 feet long, about 300 feet longer than in the first demo. And I've also used only um, an LED light rather than an incandescent uh, at the far end as a load. The system is about the same. I have 110 mains coming in to a 12 volt 30 amp switch power supply that powers the exciter transmitter on two meters. That in turn goes through about one dB of cable loss to the first launcher, now a Depron, lightweight Depron foil launcher uh, at the transmit end. Along the full length of the 100 meters of line, at the midpoint there is an insulator to prevent sag from having the wire hang too low. And at the far end, there is a, another Depron launcher, followed by um, a power meter showing the RF power, which in turn f feeds the uh, full wave rectifier below it, which puts out DC to drive the LED load. So a low power handheld drives a Toshiba 80 watt brick as a transmitter. Turn on the transmitter and the LED at the far end shows it's receiving power by way of the 100 meters of number 28.013 inch uh, copper wire. It should be remembered that the mechanism for this power transfer is not Gubal line or G line, nor is it something that Tesla did, but rather it's a TM wave along a single conductor. There's no connection to the far end aside from the number 28 wire, the 0.32 millimeter diameter, 0.00, sorry, 0.013 inch diameter copper wire. That's all there is. The far tripod is insulated and the power tran transfers or propagates as a wave along the wire itself. Compared to the first video, the additional 300 feet of wire in this video is responsible for about an additional 2 dB of insertion loss, which puts the loss per 100 feet at 6 or 7 tenths of a dB. This is competitive with a very good Times Microwave LMR900 coax. Together, these lightweight launchers and thin wire uh, have very light weight, such that 300 feet of wire and the launcher seen here uh, may be only on the order of uh, three or four ounces for several hundred feet. That is 100, 120 grams, something like that. And that means that uh, they could be run vertically, the whole system run vertically uh, to provide the power to the, a quadcopter or other aerostat, motorized aerostat at the top to allow a skyhook, a continuous uh, support for antennas uh, and aerial devices.